you. Some minutes from the June 6th meeting. Gentlemen, any comments or I didn't find any problems, so if anybody else has anything, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the second that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. This comes a report from Chief Phillips, Auburn and Volunteer Fire Department. Thank you, John. Um, the only thing I have to uh, report is uh, Fourth of July parade coming up. We're preparing for that. Girls are getting ready. They'll be uh, they'll be at the station as always. What day will that be on, John? <laughs> Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll be starting down at the Meadows. Lineups at 11 o'clock. Parade starts at 12. Hopefully, we have some grass growing back here again for the viewers. And uh, not quite sure where we're going to park everybody down at the station, but we're going to make it work. Talk to Hummel Construction about maybe if we could open up the landing pad and maybe use some of that area to park some cars in. And uh, we're going to work with them to come, come with a friend. Hmm? Come with a friend. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, that's all I have to report. Okay, thank you, John. Uh, we have uh, two gentlemen from the road department Mark Sturm, Michael Ludwig. They have a proposal here they would like to bring to you, gentlemen. With, with us looking at in the process of us building the new shop and that one of the one of the things that we wanted on our wish list to be able to maintain our fleet better maintenance wise is to get a set of uh, vehicle lifts to be able to lift our trucks up in the air and um, you know for power washing get the salt out of the nooks and crannies and you know typical maintenance on it. Um, Mark and I went and researched a couple couple brands. Um, we've um, the one company was Mohawk. The dealer brought a set out, set of lifts out. We used them in our shop, put our trucks up on them. We had we, we had one of our bigger trucks with the snow plow on it, lifted it up, did everything we needed it to do. Um, we had those for about a week, used them in you know different applications and all that. We went up to CEI to look at an, another manufacturer, which was a sterile cone, and. Um, the mechanic told us the pluses and the minuses of their unit. Um, theirs were all hardwired in that. So they had unplugged the cords, it was a trip hazard, where the ones from Mohawk we were looking at, they, they're 24 volt systems, they have onboard chargers that would utilize just a typical outlet to be able to charge them, which they're good for what, like 30 cycles, aren't they? Yeah, 30 to 50 cycles. On it. So, but, um, so, um, we've been working with them, and they sent us a proposal. These are both state contract pricings for them. And um, well, what I did is I highlighted what the proposal. Is. Yes, these things down. Yeah, this is the sterile pony, and the highlighted is what the price would be through state contract for mm -hmm. for the units. And then we had the same with Mohawk, which I believe they were about. Twelve, fourteen thousand dollars less for their units. Okay, but um, we did research um, just a standard four-post lift. We would have had to have thicker con concrete underneath the pads. It would have only been in one spot. They would have been subjected to salt, whatever, since it's folded straight to the floor. And um, contract pricing on that was almost seventy-five to seventy-six thousand dollars, and it would have been a would have been dedicated you would have need a bigger power supply to be able to run it where with these units we can take them outside we can power wash a truck outside or lift a mower up or anything but we'll be able to grab onto anything that we own and pick it up in the air with with these units and that whether it's our boom mower if we had to do something underneath it um back everything. but also what we liked with um the mohawks is um the rear the rear forks on it they're adjustable but they that allows us to grab all the way through on both the dual wheels on the rear vice with on um, sterile coney you only grab on the outer wheel so if you ever had a blowout or anything it would could slip down in between the forks on us but um right now we're just proposing to get that eventually down the road we'd like to get jack stands where 
you know, we could have one unit up, say, getting it ready for the winter, painting the frame or whatever, and then still be able to utilize um, doing various other things with them. So, what kind of load rating are we looking at here? The, uh, I gotta add it up. Here. 72,000. 68 or 72. And that. So, which is actually overkill what we have. But, right. You could put it in a truck with some salt in it. Right. Correct. And that. So, but I mean, it, they they looked a lot beefier than, than the other competitors. Um, there's some other information in the folder that Mike has where they were showing the competitors what they're doing on them. But, um, is there any other questions? Um, the, other than the basic concept, is this the what state of the art? Is there other? I I would I would kind of say that they're they're um, I'd probably say just about as state of the art that you can get. They're they're all pretty much all the same concept, but with these units, it's a it's a hydraulic cylinder with a chain that lifts it up and down. Um, but there's fail safes if it gets too far out, it won't go up, it won't come down, but it locks in. Every time it goes up, you hear them click, 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 click all the way up and that. But we're going to have uh, slope indicators put on them where it allows you to be up to, was it 2% mark? 3% max. 3% max on them. But with the floors that we're pouring right now, I believe they're at 1%, correct, Jim? Yeah. So we're way within being, being uh, safe with them. But with Mohawk also, he's going to come out and he's going to give us two years of trip. He's going to give us two years of, um, they go and re recertify, check them over, and he's going to teach us how to use them properly and safe, safely. So, and, and that enclosed price. They each have individual load gauges as well, so you know how much you're lifting to prevent any type of overloading them. get a lot better dealer support from from this company Mohawk which I can't remember what Google's company's called but Tri County Tool. Yeah. But with the uh, with the other main other manufacturer they had sterile county, it was almost like here's the price, buy the lift, go research it yourself and we and when it comes down to parts and service if we have an issue, it'd be nice to pick up the phone and say Hey, what's going on? You know, hey, can you come out and look at it? And it just seemed like he gave us a real good that he backs for themselves. How much uh, cajoling did you have to do to get him to bring you out and let you try him for a week? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't difficult. Um, they, they had a set uh, built for actually an, amb an ambulance making company mm -hmm. that they were delivering. That they offered. They weren't ready for them, so they offered to let them use them as demos. And he, he brought them out and said, you know, explain how to use them, to keep them for a week, you know, and then they took those back, reprogrammed them, cleaned them up, and delivered them to their customer. Uh, this Mohawk, is that the one you're recommending? Yes. Yes. Anything in addition to what's on the quote there? What again, PJ? Anything in addition to what's on this quote? Um, there is an oil uh, capturing device for uh, oil changes yeah, that we'd like to try to add. Be done at a later date. Right. Yeah. So if we had jack stands, we could pick 
pick up one vehicle, go right. over and pick up another. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, I think the portability of this is a is a big plus to us. Right. And the fact that we can pick up any piece of equipment. Right. Well, the thing of it is, with the muscle is we can use two and two. So, say if we're changing order, trying to grease the front end, we can pair one set together, put it on one truck, go to something else, put it on that truck. So we don't have to use so them. So two as, will work as as a right. group. As you don't have to have four. Right. Right. So we would actually have two sets of lifts. So if we want to change oil or whatever, we could lift one front up, go do something else on another one, or. Um, but they just have to be paired together and you have to be on the same axle. So it's not like you can lift up only on the passenger side. Mm -hmm. It has to be equal. Oh, okay. That's good. That. So it's both the fronts or both the rears on it. I would think it goes a long way to be able to service your vehicles more effectively. Right. Yeah. Well, that it makes it underneath so much more accessible. Right. What's the height of this? Oh, almost six feet. Six feet. I mean, we had them up in, in the old yeah. shop. And the, the seven, where you look, even, even, even Mike, our tallest guy, he was able to walk underneath it, you know, maybe turn his head a little bit. But, I mean, I think when I walked underneath it, I actually set it down just a little bit. But everybody's able to utilize them, um, you know, with not too many issues. I mean, it's, it's one thing to work under these vehicles when they're dripping salt water and possibly hydraulic oil standing and looking up with protection compared to laying in those liquids underneath the vehicle when it's on the floor, you know, I mean, for safety purposes as well as comfort. I think it'd be a well worth uh, addition. Well, when we started down the road on the new graduates, one of the uh, First things we we're talking about is what right. should be included here. So, right. you guys have always done a good job of evaluating uh, the equipment you need. So, you to, right. if you're recommending the, the Mohawks, right? Try them out. So, this what's the total package price here? Is it the forty eight thousand seven twenty eighteen for the lifts and then I believe the oil That's attached was page, another yeah. it's, it's sixty something. Yeah. I might be able to get that reduced uh, possibly. But there would be a lead time construction time to wait on the oil for you don't think? I did not have no lead time on it. See what you can do. All right. Yeah. Or see, you know, see if you can negotiate, a, you know, if we go with just the lift right now, see if you can negotiate a package price on the jack stands and uh, things. Hey, they already approved the lifts, so maybe they can Absolutely. get them to do what you're saying, right? Try, try working a little bit more on, yeah. on the second second phase of the package. Right? Yeah, because, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get the lifts also. All right. Just have, All you right. Know, Get everything in the house and be right. Do we have a motion yet? No. Okay, I'll make a motion. And, uh, move ahead with this purchase of these uh, the lift and uh, related equipment here for totaling forty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty dollars and eighteen cents. Second. From Tri County Tool and Supply. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Troy. Uh, I really need uh, to pass my time over to PJ so we can go ahead and get moving into our executive session. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to do the same. I don't have any to report anyway, so. 
Fred Wall. I have uh, your regular uh, financial reports in front of you. Corporation summary, fund summary, revenue summary for refusal, as well as uh, payment listing of warrants 3080 through uh, 3100, totaling $482,000. $215.25, notably uh, $411,483.98 was uh, for home construction as the third draw on the contract. Um, I distributed a budget proposal at the last meeting and was wondering if there's any feedback on that. I think you're in the mark. Okay. Um, then I would propose that we uh, go ahead and post the proposed budget in the building and we schedule a public hearing. Okay. It's going to have to be, I know we talked about July 4th, the week of what we're going to do for that um, July 4th date. I'm going to have to have a public hearing sometime within the first two weeks of July. Okay. So we won't be able to just... So that would be. I don't know if you want to just have a regular meeting on the fifth or a later date, but I'd like to get it in. I'd like to have it adopted before July 15. Yeah. I'm going out of town on the 23rd, so if we can move our uh, first meeting to Tuesday the fifth. Instead of going out to the 11. Okay. Otherwise, I'd have to miss the second meeting. So you guys, I know you'd, you'd hate to miss me for an entire week. I don't know. We get a little without you. Okay. I might. If I have gravity like here, I'm not going to pull out a list. But <laughs> yeah, I have a fifth this Tuesday. So Tuesday's fine. I think it's 7:30. Yeah, I may not be at myself, but I don't know. I'm okay. I guess one of us can actually guarantee it. So, yeah. well, we'll try it. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it the fifth, the rain date? Pardon me. I Is think you have right? to have it posted for 15 days. The fireworks. Fire 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 yeah. Okay. 14 days. To, to post it. Correct. Well, yeah. the rain date so is think, only going to be uh, for the fireworks. Yeah. Maybe yeah. right. So, 15, maybe. But yeah. so if we get it done. Done. Oh, you can so still fit. So it's still coming. I can get it in the publication. Sounds good. My question was, do we I can pass my letter over to somebody else. You have a unanimous vote of all three. Oh, okay. so we're going to have to have all three trustees here. Well, let me check again. So maybe Tuesday. Well, if we have a meeting on Tuesday, then we'll have still have a meeting on the 18th. Would that be soon enough? No. That's for budget. Not for budget. He's got to have that. Well, we can move it up to the 11th. I'll miss the second meeting, but we can have all three of us on the 11th. On, uh, yeah, the 11th. Yep. Okay. We'll do we that do it on the 11th. Huh? We'll do it on the 11th. Okay. So you just want to have our regular meeting on the 11th? Yeah. Okay. So that we're pretty and then that would follow up our normal schedule since it would be falling Monday. Yep. All right. So you'll schedule the... Public a separate here. advertisement for the public hearing to start yes. at what, like 7 or something, maybe? Yeah, we can. 7 or 7 15. Fred, what did we do the last time for one of those? I don't remember if we just did a regular meeting time. No, we have, we have a, well, yeah, uh, it has we have a separate meeting. We have a separate meeting. I remember it wasn't that long. There was a lot of questions. I think if we did 7 15, that would be enough. Okay, time. okay, so we'll have the hearing 7 15. That's all I need. I don't know if we need, right. to, we need to make a motion. I would so to do correction. We had some housekeeping to do. We got to sign these tonight. The dash B. Oh, right. We did. Um, we we passed a resolution last at the last meeting, 2016-15 for supplemental appropriations and about $6,000 for auditor services. 
we inadvertently duplicated a uh, resolution number, so um, we need to make that 2615 B. B. And have the original one be 2615 A. Um, so I need a motion. To make that motion. Second. Mike? Yes. DJ? Yes. John? Yes. That's all I have. Uh, we'll go to the service garage and we'll... Mr. Dixon, where are we? We're all here. Um, if anybody's been by, we, we are... The job's back on schedule. Uh, we have all of the concrete floor in place, boarded in place. The stu structural steel is up and in place and we're currently detailing it out, getting it plumb and level. Uh, the entire skin of the building is on site but we're going to paint the steel first before we start putting the roof and the sides on. The mason will be coming, well the paint will be coming in the middle of this week to start painting the red steel gray. And then uh, next week the mason will be coming back to start laying up the concrete block around the perimeter. And uh, all of that action will be overlapping itself. Once the painter starts and gets halfway down the building, the mason will start laying up blocks. Things will and start then, to go kind yeah, of... Yeah, and then as soon as the mason gets ahead, then the erectors will come back and start putting skin on the building. And, uh, it's, it's, it's going real well right now. There are no issues. Um, haven't been any EPAs been out on a regular basis. and um, We've had some uh, sill fences that have been moved from some of the heavy rain and uh, we, we fixed those right away and she was happy with that. Um, in chief, to answer your question about the live board, we're prepared to empty the helicopter pad completely for that day and we'll dress up the driveway so it can be used. Great, right, thank you. Parking. And to address you guys on your lift, we've designed the building to accommodate that lift and lift the truck completely up in between the rafters so there's no interference at all. And there's no mechanical or electrical devices in the way right, for picking up the, one of your trucks. And, and on either side, right, with the side doors, we've, we've accommodated all of that for you. So that should work out real well. Yes. And I think that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I took a little tour of it on Friday after a meeting and I was uh, very impressed. It does have volume, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's a, <laughs> Everybody was impressed with the concrete floor, how big it was, and I said, wait till the building goes up. Uh, now we have to fill it up. So it'll, it'll disappear again. It'll disappear again, yeah. but I have to say it, uh, uh, it's going to be quite a quite an exciting time, I it's think. It's a landmark, that's there. for sure. Um, really thank you, Jim. Okay, uh, we have some new zoning maps. <laughs> we have the Joggy Township dinner on July 13th in Huntsburg. Executive session uh, to discuss some litigation. Yes. Just in regards to that, will there be action tonight? And we call those of us who will be waiting at the end of the building so that we may no, announce we will, it. No, we will have no more further action. Oh, um, I may referencing uh, a court action I've been following, wherein notification was made that uh, there was to be conversation about it during the public meeting, uh, either or or and June 6th 
Yeah, I have it. Yeah, it's a few years. Much expense to the county. 